We haven't gotten any information pretty much since then as to the price of the building, uh, how much was spent, how much is going to be spent. Parishioners at a New Iberia Catholic Church want answers about the construction of a new family life center for their parish. One of the biggest concerns for those parishioners, a lack of minority contractors hired for the project. St. Edward Catholic Church is a predominantly black parish in the city of New Iberia. It was founded in 1917 and according to the Diocese of Lafayette's website, more than 1,200 families worship there. But some of those worshiper, worshipers say they're not being represented in the Family Life Center construction. Iman Boyd has tonight's top story. Parishioners save money for years and years and years to see this building come up and we don't know how the money is being spent. More than a dozen protesters at St. Edward Catholic Church demanded transparency from church leaders about the Family Life Center project. One of their biggest concerns, a lack of minority representation among the project's contractors. It's an issue that's dear to Merv Beyonce's heart. My grandfather helped put the foundation for this church. My grandfather and my great-grandfather. I would believe they would like to see parishioners or even minority contractors work on this project. Deidre Labiter led the protest. She says parishioners have been kept in the dark about the project's costs since it began. We haven't gotten any information pretty much since then as to the price of the building, uh, how much was spent, how much is going to be spent. The Diocese of Lafayette says it's still looking at some decisions regarding the Family Life Center. In a statement, the diocese office said the project is still in the preliminary stages and that they hope to have more information soon. In the meantime, parishioners say they want to be involved with the project and want their concerns to be addressed. We just want our voices heard and maybe for them to rethink some of the things that are being done and let us know more about it. Because if we don't pull ourselves up, you know, and stand up for ourselves, nobody else will. This is our money and we should all have a say in how the money is spent. Depending on the response they get today from the protest, we'll determine if they have another one. In New Iberia, Iman Boy, KTC TV3. Our investigative team looked into the Diocese of Lafayette's policies regarding new building construction. According to a policy dating back to 2013, the diocese reviews all projects costing more than $20,000. Once the diocese gives its blessing for a project, the parish draws up preliminary plans and presents them to the diocese. The diocese then reviews those plans and discusses the method to take bids. If multiple bids are received, the diocese accepts the lowest the lowest bid. 